Hey there everyone, what is going on? As always, I'm Bobathan and welcome back to the Sunday tier list. Today's tier list will be on sitcoms. Uh, we got early 90s, to, uh, we got mid 90s to now, to today. Um, a lot of good shows on here. You got Brooklyn Nine-Nine, How I Met Your Mother, Modern Family. It's a good, really good list. Zach and I put a lot of time into this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave your comments down below on what you believe about the tier list. Uh, what you agree with, what you disagree with, and I'll reply to as many comments as I can, um, which will probably be all of them, because hello to you 34 people that are going to watch it. Um, but thank you guys for all your support, um, and I look forward to next week's tier list. I hope you guys enjoy. See you at the end of the video. begin like in the intro we will be doing the uh create a sitcom tier list uh so it's oh this is 90s sitcoms which it says oh 90s to current i was gonna say yeah. most of these aren't 90s sitcoms um yeah. as always we got our s tier a b c and haven't seen i'm gonna admit there's a few on these i haven't seen um zach seen a majority of them yeah i've seen most of them i'm willing to bet he's seen more than i have um, much like with our Pixar tier, we're going to only put five in the S tier, and the rest will be for, uh, rest will be for what we don't deem our top five. Um, and then we have our haven't seen, because like I said, I haven't seen some of these. Um, but when going through the already made, uh, tier list, the, this was probably the best one we found for, uh, for sitcoms. And it has the names rather than the posters, which can be difficult for some people. So we're gonna start with the Wayne's Bros, and that's going right in heaven. Seen for me. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. I mean, I know who they are, obviously the Wayne's Bros, but I don't. I haven't seen. Yeah. Their uh, sitcom. And then we just talked about this before coming on the air. I have not seen Will and Grace. Um, it's on Netflix, right? I have no idea. I think I've just seen a couple episodes. I think I've seen like an episode or two on TV. I think it's about like a. It's like this. There's like a gay lawyer. He's like a gay lawyer, and then his his friend like moves in with him, like yeah. this girl. And I haven't seen more than like an episode or two, so I'm just gonna put it in haven't seen because I don't know enough about it to judge it. Okay, so next up we got Thirty Rock. I haven't watched Thirty Rock in full, but Neither I've watched I. episodes of Thirty Rock. It's yeah. funny. It is funny. Yeah. I mean, um, I like uh, uh, what's his name. I can never uh, remember his name. Oh. Alec Baldwin. He's in. Alec Baldwin. And then isn't Tina Fey or the other one is? Yeah, it's Tina Fey. Tina Fey is in it. It's either Tina, uh, Tina Fey or Amy Poehler, one of them. Um, it's but, Tina Fey. Uh, I think I'm going to put it in B tier because the episodes I have seen have been pretty funny. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it in B tier as well because just from what I've seen, it seems pretty funny. Okay, but this next one, I haven't seen. This next one I didn't watch until university. Uh, yeah, you ha you didn't re recommend it yet. You after I'd watched it, you told me to watch it. Mm, but true, true. I watched this on my own because I saw it on Netflix and I wanted a comedy to watch. Um, it's got a great cast. It's got a great cast. It's a little weird at times. Oh yeah, for sure. But like that's the humor of it. Yeah, um, and the forget me nots are probably one of the funniest comedy skits. <laughs> yeah, around. Uh, the Forget Me Not was funny, and the uh, I really like uh, what's it called? The Never Nude, like running gag, oh, is hilarious. I just I'm not a big Tobias fan. Tobias is Tobias and Job are my two favorite characters. I'm gonna put. I know you're probably gonna put it higher. I'm gonna put it in the as my top tier and B. I put it in A tier. Okay. Definitely. Next up, you'll have heard Zach and I use this reference a lot of times, but. I feel like the Big Bang Theory is the Nickelback of comedy shows. Yeah, everyone people just hates it to, to hate, hate it. it because other people hate it. Yeah, and they just love to hate it because everyone hates it. I yeah. actually really enjoyed the Big Bang Theory. You know what? I think a lot of people really enjoyed it until people started hating on it. Yes, and I, I enjoyed like... maybe the first seven seasons. I stopped watching when Bernadette got pregnant, and it wasn't because of that. It was just because I started getting bored with the show. Uh, yeah, I started watching once I went to university, and, like, I only really watched it on TV. I didn't watch it, like, in order, but I'd watch, like, it on TV, and I'd be like, this is funny. But I I, I know what happens at the end and everything now, so. What really bothers me is... I've pretty much seen it all now. The only point, reason I TV. haven't finished it 
and it was after season seven, is they told me they would never tell you Penny's last name, her maiden name. Mm-hmm. And they never do. Even at the wedding. Yeah. I like the ending, though. I don't know if you know I don't know how it ends. I haven't seen okay. it yet. So. I won't say anything, but I liked the ending. Um, which is good, because it's hard to end a good sitcom. Yeah. And the fact that they pulled that off makes me happy. I'm going to put it in the A tier. Yeah, I was saying either top of B or A, or a tier. No, um, I'd put, I think A. I don't know if it will be at the top of A, but it will be in A for sure. I'm putting it top of B right now, but I might move it up. Okay, next up is my first S tier. Yeah, mine as gonna, well. It's going to probably sit at the top for me. Mine, it won't 99. for me, but it's definitely an S tier. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is by far one of my favorite shows. Probably my favorite show on television. And for the longest time, we'll talk about the other one later, it was occupied by another comedy. And after, I've rewatched both a hundred times. And I think Brooklyn Nine-Nine is just so much better. There's nothing... I don't think there's anything wrong with Brooklyn Nine-Nine. No, I, I really like it. I, all the characters are great. It's all a the characters are show. They so. all bring something unique. They're all great. Fucking Jake and Charles are great. You and I talk about it all the time. Hitchcock and Scully are great. Hitchcock and Scully are the best characters. When I watched it through the first or second time, I hated Gina. And now I love Gina. Gina's funny. Gina I've... is a great character. My favorite episode of Gina is when she creates her own flamethrower. When they get they have to die hard through the mall. Yeah, yeah. Great episode. But there's nothing bad I can say about Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Great show. Okay. So next up, we have Community, which I binge-watched the first five seasons. I'm halfway through five now. And then they Mm -hmm. added another comedy on Netflix, which is on this list and we'll talk about later. Um, Yeah. I really enjoy Community. As of right now, though, I don't think I'm going to put it in my S tier. So here's my thing. Um, Community was probably my favorite show when I was in high school watching TV and stuff like that. And I loved it. And then they had the one really bad season where Dan Harmon left. Everybody knows. They call it the gas leak here in the show. But, uh, and then um, it was a bad season. And then they uh, they came back and this, the episodes were good, but they started losing cast members. So never really felt the same. The ending, I will say, is I think is great. And I think the show is great. Um I want to put it in my S tier. For now, I'm putting it in my A tier. And if we get to the end and I still have a spot for it, I'm probably going to That's how I feel. That's how I feel. I'm going to put it, yeah, above Big Bang. But as of right now, it's not in my S because I You also haven't finished it. Yeah, exactly. Well, I see at least three more for sure going in my S tier. No, my S tier is full. I I can't. Um, Okay. Curb Your Enthusiasm. I've seen bits and pieces. Never found it funny. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, I've seen, I think, the first season, and I didn't finish it. I love Larry David, but uh, that show was just not for me. I, I get the appeal of it, though. I The only thing I like about it is the noise, is, like, the uh, sound bite. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, I know that they like influenced a bunch of like there's some because of the way they shot it they had a bunch of influences off but uh, I'm putting it in C tier just because it wasn't my type of comedy and I think that I actually think I'm putting the next two in C tier as well. Wow, I'm disagreeing with that for at least one of them. Okay, everybody hates Chris. I never found it that funny. I watched it growing up. It was always on YTV. Um, I watched that. I never found it funny. It just. I find it funny that they're side by side here, um, but yeah, I was never a fan. Were you? Um, everybody hates Chris. I used to watch on TV. wasn't Again, wasn't my favorite. Um, I did not like it. Okay. I'm pretty sure Terry Crews is in it, isn't he? Uh, maybe. Pretty sure he is. Uh, but I wasn't a fan. Yeah, not my favorite. It's yeah, he is in it. Here. I just Googled it. He is in it. Um, but it's going in C tier for me. And I'm also putting Everyone Loves Raymond in C tier because I never found it funny. I, I love Ray Romano. Yeah, and Ray Romano's the okay, Ice Age goat, but that's for another day. I um, can't put it any higher than C tier. I'm putting it in B tier 
Um, I loved the dad from Everybody Loves Everybody Loves Raymond. Probably one of one of the funniest characters. And the brother, oh man, so funny. I'm I'm putting it above Thirty Rock for sure. That's okay. probably controversial, but again, I've only seen like one episode of Thirty Rock, so. Okay, next up is Family Matters. I've never seen it. Oh, did I do that? Oh, is that you Urkel? Know. Yeah, it's Steve Urkel. Oh, never mind. It's in C. Uh, yeah, it's in C. Yeah, I haven't seen it all, but I've seen episodes. Yeah, I've seen episodes. I don't know enough to... I, I know enough to put it in C, but I have seen it now that... This is all my personal opinion. Yeah. Not on, like, it, like its impact and stuff like that, so yeah, I haven't exactly. seen enough of it to put it higher, so it's going to... Um, Frasier, I have seen one episode, and I'm going to put it in having seen, because I couldn't tell you anything about the show. Yeah, I've seen an episode or two. Couldn't tell you, you anything reminded about me it. of Urkel, reminds me of the episodes I have seen of the show. Uh, yeah. I have bad brain, so... Yeah, Frasier, I'm putting in haven't seen it, too. I have seen a couple episodes. But, I just go, uh, I couldn't tell you anything about it. I th- yeah. Okay, this next one straight to my S tier. Yeah, I, I love too. the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I have watched it on Netflix a hundred times through. I used to we used to have the DVR where you could record everything, and you could search by show, and I would just record it on every channel it was on. So it would record five or six episodes at a time. Because they're yeah. always running reruns, and I just come home from school and watch rewatch all the recordings. This was before Netflix. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would watch Fresh Prince every day from like grade seven to like grade ten. Yeah, grade and seven. And not Netflix even, ju- not even just for its comedy, like just in general, it's a great show. Yeah, I rewatched it again. I think last year or two years ago, I loved it even more. Yeah, the um, OG has... OG and Viv is. Yeah, best, that's but, that's a different story. Um, but uh, definitely S tier. <laughs> Uncle Phil, one of the best characters in comedy. Oh, Avery. definitely. Yeah, James Avery. Avery. Rest in Avery. peace. First things first. Okay, and next up, I have to put it in S tier. I don't. I don't care what everyone else thinks. People I'm, shit I'm on not. this show so much. Friends, not really. Oh yeah, I think man, friends get shit on all the time because people watch it now and they call it homophobic, blah, blah, blah. And I oh, they do that, that with every show. It, it doesn't, Friends does not aid well. It is very, homo, there are a lot of homophobic parts in it. There are a lot of fat phobic parts you in could, it. Fat phobic. <laughs> well, everyone hates on Monica. Like, the yeah, I get, like, I get it. I get it. But like, but this know. is one of my, Friends is one of my favorite shows. I can watch Friends over and over and over again. And I honestly think Friends, it was very influential on most of the post-2000s comedy shows. Uh, yeah, I guess. I would say, for me, it's not even the best t- like sitcom from its era. And yeah, I, think I know it, what you're going to put there. but Yeah, I think it's the most overrated com- Like, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I think it's oh, a great yeah, show. Oh, yeah, I know you love it. I just think it's overrated. Like, the most overrated sitcom in TV, like, history. Oof. But I... I, it's not like it's not going to the top of my A tier, which it yeah, is. No, it's just sure. you can't fit it in with your thought. Are you gonna nah. put, would you put community ahead of it? Uh I would I would be more inclined to put in my S tier than I would friends. Really? But if they were both in my A tier, I'd probably put friends ahead of it just for like everything that surrounds friends. Fair, fair. But I think community at its peak is way funnier than friends at its peak. Oh, I don't know about that. There, there's just four or five seasons of Friends where it's so good. I, I don't like, know. I think I it's think like from, average. I think it's like I think it's like average in sense of like like storytelling and stuff like that's, that. That's fair. That's fair. It's just like it's funny and it's a great show. But I think from the I'm gonna time, get heat for this pick, but I'm, I'll think, screenshot my list at the end of this. Yeah, yeah, to you, for but. sure. I think from the time they win the apartment to about the time R- Rachel and Ross break up where, uh, I forget her name, they go to the beach house and I, she shakes Yeah, her. yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think, yeah. I think that gap is peak comedy. No. At, before and after are meh, but I think that gap is really good. I don't think Friends even comes close to some of the... 
I would much rather Fresh so Prince, Brooklyn Nine Nine, and a couple yeah. other on here. But Friends is definitely going to be the bottom of my S tier. Yeah, I think it's great. I, I I'm going to get hate for this. I just but I okay. just think it's overrated. I haven't seen much of Full House. Actually, I I'm going to put it in haven't seen. Now that I think of it, I haven't seen enough. I couldn't tell you. I've, what s- I've seen maybe six or seven episodes. Didn't like it, so didn't continue. But like, it's not my comedy. But I'm gonna just gonna put it and haven't seen it because I don't know enough about yeah. it as well. So. Okay, cool. this next one I used to watch at like two or three in the morning because that's the only. Me thing too. I used to watch this show all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Wow, I'm gonna put it in C tier, but no, I top love of C tier. I love. This. I, I, I thought it's funny, but like I don't think it's as funny as like the other shows I have in B tier. No, I think it's up there. I think it's funnier than all four I have in C tier. And then I don't think it's funnier than actually I'm putting it ahead of Thirty Rock. But that's just because I've seen more of it. I just remember watching this at like two or three in the morning and it was just so funny. Yeah, I think it's funny. I just Okay. It was it was good. It was good. This is gonna be really controversial. I'm putting Hi I Met Your Mother in my S tier. I know you are. I'm putting it and in like I, bottom I, bottom of B. Your bottom of B. Yeah. The disrespect. Well, here's okay. Let maybe me go first. Let me go first. Behind Big Bang Theory. Okay, go. Okay. Zach knows this. I one of the first things I did, and this is gonna sound awful on my parents, but we watch Two and a Half Men or Two and a Half Men and How I Met Your Mother along with Big Bang Theory when it came out. We watched that from the beginning to the end. I watched How I Met Your Mother from the first episode to the last one, and I was young. It was in, like, 05, 06, whenever it debuted. We watched the first to the last episode. First, it was every Monday, then it switched to Wednesdays, and then it switched to Thursdays. We watched it all the way through, and I think that was one of the first shows I ever did that with, and it stuck with me. I loved that show. I cried when it ended. Uh, I disagree with a lot of people who say the ending sucks. I don't think I don't think the ending was as bad as it could have been. I do I not like yeah. that he ended up with Robin. But I think it sucked. I just don't think it was I don't as bad I think people, people was. overreacted to how bad yeah, it was. For sure, for sure. There's I have no issue with the Dexter. mom dying, but if she died I don't think he should have ended up with Robin. Yeah, and him it, and Robin were mad toxic. Exactly. But um, this is one of my favorite all time favorite shows. The only thing that beat it was Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So for me, for How I Met Your Mother, the reason I'm putting it pretty low, probably I'm putting it behind Big Bang Theory and B here. The, the reason is it's so low is because when I watched it the first time, I thought it was it was the, f- the first thing I watched when I first got Netflix, which was like, I think grade nine or grade 10. And it was whenever the last season just ended. Yeah, it had like, just all came out on Netflix. Yeah, and it just went right on Netflix, I think. And I was yeah. like, I was like, okay, this is going to be the first show I watched because my friends have been like always talking about it. So I was like, okay, watch it. First show I ever watched on Netflix. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it, it was one of, I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was great. Marshall's, Marshall's still probably one of my favorite Marshall's like, sitcom, one of the best sitcom, sitcom characters favorite. like ever. But I tr- every time I try rewatching it, I'm like, I hate this show. I could rewatch so, it. So for me, it goes. I can't rewatch it. I I, th- I think it's so bad. I could rewatch but it. But I loved it the first time. I, start, I met Zach. Yeah. Zach ruins a lot of TV for me and a lot of movies. So I point out the bad parts of it. And then it really bothers me. Uh, and then I, I just can't really don't it. like Ted as a character. I think he sucks. But... Ted is an awful character. Ted isn't even. Yeah. Ted is the second worst character on that show. And yeah. I'll stick to my guns that Lily is the worst character on that show. Lily should have left after season one, and I would have been happy. Jeez, she was just mad nosy. But her and Marshall, I like her, her, I like her, her as an actress. Yeah, yeah, her character sucks. But her yeah, character her, sucks. Just like her, the way she acts, like I like she's a know it all, and she's mad nosy and stuff like that. Like the whole uh, what's it called, the patio theory or deck theory, whatever it's called. Yeah. I so know. weird. So weird. I forgot what it's called, but. And she broke up. Kept breaking up Ted. Yeah, yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, the front porch theory. Front porch. That's yes. a patio port. I was. Yeah. I had to. I, I was close. So you were. Yeah. Um, Anyways, yeah, not. Uh, yeah, not I my, can talk about how I met your mother forever. I, yeah, I, but I don't get me wrong. I I loved it the first time I watched it. Just every time I rewatched it, I was like, 
And like, I rewatched it kind of recently. I watched a bit of it and I was like laughing and stuff like this, but I was like, man, the story is like yeah. agonizing. Okay. The next two I haven't seen. I haven't seen It's Always Sunny. I haven't seen Living Single. It's Always Sunny. I, I've heard is hilarious and I'm sure I'd love it. I'm just not, I, I haven't gone out of my way to watch it. So. And what about Living Single? But from what I've seen of like clips and stuff like that, it looks really funny. But Living Single, no, I haven't seen either. Danny DeVito's in It's Always Sunny, right? Yeah. I think he comes in in like the second season or third season or something like that, from what I've heard. Funny. What? Didn't you say you love Matilda? <laughs> yes, I never. He's not. He's yeah, he not di- what I love in Matilda. Huh? He's not he's what not I what love, love in Matilda. Matilda. He directs it. I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay, Malcolm in the Middle. Great show. Great show. I'm putting Malcolm uh, in the Middle in B. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, in B tier. Very good. It's. Very good, but like when I think of a sitcom, Malcolm in the Middle is like the last thing that comes to my mind. I but I used to love it when I was a kid. Dewey yeah. was my guy. Yeah. Reese was hilarious. Yeah. Um, again, we're going to do this one more time. I haven't seen the next two. I have seen Married with Children. Did you like it? Um, Al Bundy's pretty funny, and his son Bud is pretty funny. Uh, he, it's also. Ed, Harry, what? Ed O'Neill play. He plays Al Bundy, the main character. Okay. His wife is also, I think she voices uh, Leela from Futurama. But um, I'm putting it in B tier. It's really funny. We don't need to go into detail with it because you haven't seen most of it. But, and yeah. you haven't seen Martin, right? No, I think it's Martin Lawrence, though. I don't know, but I haven't okay. seen it. Um, next up is this is where it's going to get really hard because I have two left on here that I want to put in S tier, and I have four in S tier. You have four in S tier? I still only have two. I have nine, nine, How I Met Your Mother, Fresh Prince, and Friends. And the only one I'm willing mm-hmm. to budge on. It's friends. But Modern Family is going to skyrocket above How I Met Your Mother only because I have spent the last two weeks binge watching Modern Family. If I'm not playing video games, I am watching Modern Family. I almost done everything on Netflix and then I gotta finish the remaining four seasons that aren't on Netflix. And this show, before I got back into it, I forgot how funny it was. This show has comedy gold in it. And yeah. before, before I started watching it, Zach's like, Phil is one of, if not the best characters in comedy. Yeah. Phil is incredible. There, there are four or five characters that make that show. It's Phil, Gloria, Cam, uh, Luke. And I was going to say, if you don't say Luke, I'm going to freak. Luke and uh, Jay. Uh, they are, I like Manny. The Manny's supporting funny. cast is great, but they play off the, the humor of the, the main five. And yeah. I just think this show, rewatching it has made me so happy. I laugh all the time. It's such a quotable show, too. Yeah, uh, Phil is great. I think he's, I, again, I think he's one of the funniest sitcom characters probably of all time. Uh, I ha- I've seen every single episode, but not in order. Oh man, I you should go back and watch it. I um, I've I've seen every episode. I know how it ends. I know a lot about the show because I've read like uh like it's an interviews and stuff movie. on it. Adam Devine when he's in it, he's one so that, good as Andy. He's really good as Andy. Yeah, he he's underrated. Too bad he had to leave the show for like movies and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, here's but he's the great. Thing. Workaholics is a good show too. That's not on here, but it's. I guess. Here's the thing. It happens in Friends. They they redid a friend skit with this. That's how influential Friends is. The Manny mm-hmm. situation. Would you have a male Manny? Uh, yeah, I don't care. Yeah. I think it's not a problem nowadays, but I, I just love it because Jay's like, no, no, no. And then he handles yeah. Gloria and she, he's like, you're hired. Also, well, let's not pretend that like every sitcom is doesn't like. No, exactly. I, I, well, not every sitcom, but like most sitcom, they're called sitcoms for a reason. They have a general formula that they follow. Yeah. Um, uh, which. Uh, okay. Yeah. Next is Post and Rec. I haven't seen it in full. I've seen bits and pieces. This is with uh, Chris Pratt, right? Yeah, Chris Pratt, Amy Poehler. Uh, I'm gonna put it in. What's her name? Place April too. I forget her name. Yeah. Oh, I know she, who you're talking. Yeah, she's funny. Ron. She's Swanson, really funny. Right. Ron. Yeah, he's in it. Yeah. 
Um, I'm going to put it uh, just above Malcolm in the Middle in the B tier. Yeah, I'm putting it above. Well, ours are different, but yeah. yeah. I'm putting it in uh, above How I Met Your Mother. Or no, behind about how I'm, right behind How I Met Your Mother in B tier. Okay. Um, next up is Roseanne. Never seen it. I know there's some really weird episodes of this show. Like where they, it's all a dream that they won the lottery or something. Yeah, that's the end of it when, uh, like, basically, it's not like a dream, but like she's kind of, it is a dream, but like she's kind of going crazy because her husband died. It's hard to explain, but yeah. And they, well, it's back now as the Connors. Yeah. But she's not on it anymore. Yeah, because of her tweet. Yeah. We don't need to go into that, but yeah. She got fired. Basically. Yeah. I put it in Haven't Seen. Okay, yeah. I'm put I I've seen a couple episodes, but I'm gonna be with you and put it in Haven't Seen. Um and then I know where this is going for you. I know where these next two are going for you, but I'm putting Scrubs in Haven't Seen because I have not seen a single episode of the show. Scrubs? Um it's a little it's it's from the thousands, early thousands. It's a little politically incorrect now if you were to watch it, but still one of my favorite shows. Um, it's about doctors and stuff like that. Probably some of the sat. My brother's watching Modern Family. Can you hear it? <laughs> no, not quite. Uh, but uh, I think it's one of it has probably some of the hardest hitting episodes, like emotionally, that you'll watch in a sitcom. It's amazing. I'm putting it in S tier. Okay, and then Seinfeld. I have seen very few episodes of Seinfeld, but Seinfeld deserves the respect I'm going to give it, and it's going in my A tier. It's S tier for me and top of S tier. No. Not that. I, I've seen very few episodes, but what I have seen are fairly funny. And I'm sure if I sat down and watched a show, it would be one of my favorite sitcoms. I think it's on Crave. It's hilarious. Man. I just don't find it. Like, I don't, I don't have the interest in watching it. It's so good, man. Like, the characters, Kramer, freaking, oh, man, they're so funny. It has, it ha- and it has a long-lasting impact. Yeah. I mean... Jerry Stiller was in it too. Rest in peace. He just passed away. But yeah, man. He's also the dad in Modern Family. He's Phil. Oh, no, no, no. That's a different. You're thinking of a different actor. Oh. Thinking of, uh, I forget his name. Yeah. But he just passed away recently too. Jerry Stiller is Ben Stiller's dad. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen the next two. Sex and neither have I. Sex and the City. I've been told to watch it, but I honestly thought it was a reality show growing up. So did I, actually. So. I was I, like, one of the best skits in Nine Nine revolves around Sex in the City, where Holt has to learn the whole show. Yeah. So they can rob yeah. the FBI building. Yeah. Good. Okay. Good show. Definitely a good show. Uh, okay, that '70s show because you hadn't seen Sister Sister, right? No, I haven't seen it. Okay. I don't even know what it. I've never heard of it. That '70s show. I haven't seen much, but I know it has Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis. Um, the other guy from the ranch, right? Yeah, yeah. Danny Masterson. Yes, uh, and from what I've seen, it's funny, but I'm gonna put it. It's also uh, the main character is the guy you would know him as the guy who played a uh, a uh, Venom in the first in the the first Spider-Man oh, series. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm putting it in my B tier, middle of B tier. Really? Yeah. I really like it. I was gonna say A tier. I just haven't end seen of eight here. I just haven't I, seen enough. It gets weird at the end because a couple characters leave and stuff like that, but I'm putting it at the end of eight here. I think it, it's so funny. See? Red Foreman is so funny, one of the most underrated characters. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, end of eight here, end of eight here. I tossed with this decision the whole time we've made this list. And I actually think I'm going to put it at the top of C tier. I, <laughs> look, you don't understand. I do not like The Office, and I'm going to get so much hate for that. And I No, also, there's a lot of people that don't like it. There's a lot of people that say it's overrated. Man, I get the hate from my brother when I say I don't want, like, it. you try to always tell me you got to watch all of it. Uh, well, I don't say you got to watch all of it. I'm just saying make it past the first season, like you always say to me with Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, I, I've seen enough, I've, I've seen so many episodes of The Office, though, it's just never in order. Like you with Modern Family, but I, I've seen all of Modern Family. I just like every episode. My roommates in first year always watched it. It was always on in our TV, uh, on my TV too. 
Um, it was always on. They in, they enjoyed it. They always tried to get me to enjoy it, and I was just never a fan. And then Zach and I became friends, and Zach always liked the show. Uh, Zach watches it, has probably seen it through eight, six or seven times. More than that. Yeah. Uh, six or seven times, probably in first and second year alone. Yeah, and I just, every episode I've seen, there are two episodes of the show I like. The Diversity Day episode. Which is like the second episode. Yeah, they showed us that in high school. And then the CPR episode. The only CPR two episodes, episodes. The only two episodes C- I like. Uh, Zach tells me to watch uh, Scott's Tots. Scott's uh, Tots. It's the hardest episode to get there. My brother told me to watch it too, but I just, I don't find Steve Carell funny in that show at least. I don't find Michael Mm -hmm. Scott funny. And I I guess you don't like 40 year old virgin and stuff. uh, I I haven't seen 40 year old virgin, Mm -hmm. but apparently he's in Space Force and it's not very good. Yeah, I heard it's not great. I'm still going to watch it because why not? But. And Steve Carell's a great person. Like, you just don't need it. He's paying, to, uh, he's paying to get people out of jail during this whole riots and stuff. So he's a good person. I just don't like him as Michael Scott. Good dramatic actor, too. But, yeah. Him. You're putting in an S tier. I know that. I already put in an S tier. Yeah, great show. I thought I think it's hilarious. Uh, it changes so much with the show. So many great guest stars. So, yeah. Okay, finally. Like I said, growing up, we watched three shows. It was How I Met Your Mother. Big Bang Theory, and Two and a Half Men. And I really want to put Two and a Half Men in my S tier, but I think in the last three or four seasons of Two and a Half Men, when Charlie Sheen went crazy, and they brought Action Kutcher in, and I didn't like I liked, Kutcher, and I liked he, those seasons. I, everyone I mean, hates on them. I kind of liked them. No, I just, I couldn't do it. I'm going to put it the top of my A tier, but I could not, I can't put it any higher. I... I did not like Action Kutcher. I think I think the premise of the show was good. It was unique for the time. I think it was very funny. Uh, there, it's probably not the most politically correct to watch now. Definitely not. But Char- Charlie Sheen was great in it. Um, I like John Cryer as Alan. Uh, Jake. He's T- actually a good actor. Jake T. Austin was funny. Uh, yeah, he loved I, the show too, though. Yeah, I just think great show. If only Charlie hadn't went crazy. And the ending was very petty on Chuck Lowe's part. <laughs> Killing him, yeah. yeah. And then queuing to himself laughing. It's just, I don't think it was, I think it was a tacky ending. Yeah, it was a weird, weird ending to the show. Where you the fact that, like, ah, uh, B tier. B tier, really? Yeah. What were you going to do, C tier? Mine's an A. Really? I think it's definitely like... Uh, it was going to be an S, but those last three seasons... Really? It was def- it's definitely like one of those shows people say is bad just because of like the story around it and like just to say it's bad. I mean, um, if you look at it from like an objective standpoint, you got... Uh, Charlie's just Barney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But not that Barney's a great character either. He basically... No. But people idolize Barney on How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, I mean, people idolize a lot of horrible people. Yeah. <laughs> Barney's, a, Barney's a bad person if you watch the show. Oh, sorry, Dad. Did you wake him up? No, they're awake. He just said I'm very loud. Mm. Um, Neil Patrick Harris is a great actor. But oh, yeah, I'm not saying he's a great actor. I'm no, just saying no. his, his character is a bad person. Yeah, oh, Barney's an awful person. <laughs> Okay, I think this is a solid list. I don't know if you're going to move anything around. I kind of ordered mine while I was doing it. I kind of didn't, but I'm going to uh, order it and send screenshot and send it. Okay, so Zach's is going to go right here. That's Zach's list. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Leave your opinion in the comments down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya. Peace.